And while the Archdiocese are preparing, so are other houses of worship in San Diego. Pastor Miles McPherson from the Rock Church says they are continuing to follow the county's guidelines implemented, and they need a bit more time to have things in place so that attendees can worship in a socially distanced setting. He's joining us now to talk about the plan to get the church back open. Pastor Miles, thanks so much for being with us today. How are you? Thanks for having me. I've got a question. So you have thousands that come for over multiple different services every day. How do you even start taking those steps to make sure <laughs> that they are going to be safe when you finally reopen? Well, first, you know, we, we have a survey out. So we're collecting survey uh, questions from people about their interest to come back, what kind of things they will be concerned with. So before we open, we want to know what the people are feeling. And we also then are going to find out what the guidelines are for tom tomorrow. And that may, you know, that's going to determine a lot because if they put, you know, such strict guidelines on us, it may not be feasible to come back. But we are also in a public school. So the public school uh, schedule is going to impact one of our campuses that we meet on San Ysidro High School campus. So it's not as simple as coming back. There are a lot of moving parts. However, we are having church every day. We're out in the community serving. We are meeting in homes on Zoom like this uh, in our groups. People are still uh, growing in their faith, reading the Bible, studying together, uh, and reaching out to the community and serving the community. So as long as we're doing that, uh, church is moving along just fine, and us, us meeting together will happen when it happens. You are doing such great work, you and everybody in the congregation. And I'm reading a statement that you released recently, and it says that uh, I am glad that churches are finally being acknowledged as essential. This is, of course, after the president announced that. Did it feel like uh, up until this point, until that announcement was made, that you were being forced to close the doors simply because it was deemed non-essential and maybe it shouldn't have been? Well, they shut everything down. You know, I, I didn't feel like they singled the church out. I think that uh, when we closed, everyone was closed. However, I do believe that they um, opened things prematurely, opened other things sooner than they should have opened churches. I mean, you're gonna, you can go buy weed, but you can't go pray. That that seems backwards to me. You know, if, if people who are scared, people who's uh, who are getting beat by their husbands because they're stressed out, people who are now abusing drugs and killing themselves because suicides up all the fallout from COVID, you can't get relief from that any healthy relief from costco or or target you go to the church and so if this the first place they should have opened was the church and let us uh minister to people now we're doing that anyway out in the community however you know other churches there's another part to that and that's coming inside and praying with people so i i think it's backwards that they would dread that they would put churches in phase three i think that just doesn't make any sense to me and there are several especially those here in san diego county that do agree with you now what do you see looking forward if you could reimagine or try to kind of look into that crystal ball what will the rock church look like once this is all over and people are finally able to get back in those doors well, you know, eventually, if we can have services like we did, however, I think, and one of the things we're, we're reevaluating because this has been a great time to reevaluate why we do what we do and things will be different internally. A lot of things are gonna be different, but one of them is gonna be the focus on small groups, which we have anyway, we have a lot of small groups, but uh, probably minimize uh, so many event focused ministries and go into more discipleship. Two years ago, a year and a half ago, we, we had that focus anyway, but this is really gonna put the heat on it because you never know when this will happen again or when the government regulations will come down and, 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 and uh, prevent us from meeting in the ways that we want, which we just experienced with something we never imagined. So we wanna be able to position ourselves that no matter what happens, we can still minister and serve the community and grow in our faith and exercise our faith. Pastor Miles, you are um, such a source of comfort for so many. Any words you want to leave us with today uh, just about our current position and, and where we're going? I know so many people are hoping to get back to normal soon. Uh, yeah, I, first I would say uh, reevaluate normal, reassess normal. I don't ever, whenever time you go through a hard time, uh, and this is a hard time, you never want to come out of the other side of it the same. Uh, we should count it all joy when we encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of our faith will, will, will mature us. And so right now, ask God, what do you want me to learn about your relationship with God? Because he will undoubtedly uh, 
uh, teach you something. This is not a surprise to God. You know, the government closed everything down. Not a surprise to God. God is saying, okay, what are you going to do now? And so I would, uh, and, and to the church, and, and really to all of us, but I'm referring to the church, but for all of us to ask God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to trust you better? How do you want me to be obedient? How do you want me to spend my money different? How do you want me to treat people different? That's what people should be asking themselves. Don't, don't be such a rush to get back to what it was because that's probably not going to happen. And at least it shouldn't be in your own heart. You should see life differently, see yourself differently, change, adjust your values. I mean, some of the things that we thought were important, I would think aren't as important anymore. And and then there are other things that you thought weren't important that are, like family. So I would have I would ask people to to focus on what you're benefiting from, what you've learned, lean into that, and don't worry about what you've lost. Hmm. Such important words, Pastor Mal. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it, and we'll of course be. Checking back in with you as things continue to move forward. God bless you. Have a good day. All right. Great interview. So good. Yeah, so good. That. Wow.